Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Bia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Nicole is a student of Eulogio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology or IRIS in the Bachelor of Special Needs Education Generalist Program. In her spare time, she enjoys singing. Flory also studies in the Special Needs Education Generalist Program of IRIS Manila. She loves cats and immersing herself in K-drama. Sunod naman, Mark is an electronics engineering student at UP Diliman. He enjoys playing sports, jogging, and listening to OPM, but hates milk tea. Lastly, we have Raymart. Raymart is a computer science student of UP Diliman. Back home, he has six cats waiting for him. In his spare time, he jogs around the campus. Of course, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First off, Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus, who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in, but wait for us to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. In zoology, what do you call the large one-horned mammal that is one of the most endangered species in Africa and Indonesia? Raymark. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. In what city in Metro Manila can you find the barangays Alabang and Ayala Alabang? Nicole. Manila. The answer is incorrect. Flory. Las Piñas City. The answer is also incorrect. Raymark. Makati. The answer is incorrect. Mark. Tagi. The answer is also incorrect. The city in Metro Manila where you can find Alabang is Muntinlupa. Question number three. What is the home city of the Knickerbockers of the NBA? I think that came a little too late. The correct answer, the Knickerbockers are from New York. Question number four. What popular game consists of a checkered 64 square board together with 32 pieces and coins? Nicole. Chess. Chess is the correct answer. Hey, check. Question number five. The first mate in the novel Moby Dick was the basis of the name of which popular coffee house chain? The correct answer is Starbucks. Question number six. The favorite of many of our contestants, this is in elementary math. But still math. What is half the sum of eight and twelve? Mark. Ten. Uh, ten. Ten is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the 33-hectare urban park located in the heart of Baguio City? Mark. Burnham Park. Burnham Park is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. 
Which popular sparkling wine did Benedictine Dom Perignon make and improve upon in the 17th century? The correct answer is Champagne. Dom Perignon Champagne. Question number nine. In which Asian country is the ringgit the official currency of? Mark. Malaysia. Malaysia is the correct answer. Keche. Question number 10. In what province can you find the town of Oslob, which is famous for whale watching as well as Magellan's Cross? Mark. Cebu. Cebu is the correct answer. Hey, check. Question number 11. In human anatomy, what hinge joint connects the upper arm and the lower arm? Mark? Elbow. Elbow. Okay, check. Last question for this round. In the 19th century German fairy tale, what is the name of the long-haired girl that was locked up in a tower by the sorceress? Nicole. Rapunzel. Rapunzel is the correct answer. Let down your hair, contestants. Okay, check. And that's it for our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby, for that round. So now let's do a recap of their scores. Mark is leading with 50 points, followed by Nicole with 20 points, Raymart with 10 points, and Flory, pwede pang humabol sa susunod na rounds. Well, let's get to know more about contestants. Let's start off with Nicole. I hear that you are an avid singer. So, whose songs do you enjoy the most? At siyempre, nakakasanayan at nauuso dito ang sample. <laughs> I'm actually a Christian, so I only listen to Christian music. Po. Oh, okay. Po. Praise and worships. So, is there a particular <laughs> favorite of yours that you can share with us? Siguro yung song na lang po ng music at ha, yung Tuloy Ang Awi. Mm -hmm. Tuloy ang awi, sigaw ng aking puso'y nagtagumpay. Pagkat lakas mo ang taglay. Galing. Napakagaling, di ba? Pwede na siyang maging boses ng theme song ng K-Tech. <laughs> pwede, pwede. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Nicole. No, ngayon naman, kausapin natin si Flory. Balita namin na under the same track kayo, itong generalist track ng Special Needs Education Program sa ILIT. So, Flory, could you tell us more about kapag sinabing generalist dito sa field na ito? Ano ibig sabihin yan? Basically po kasi, um, yung curriculum po kasi namin is the new curriculum. Um, ang old curriculum po kasi niya is um, BEED, Bachelor of Elementary Education. Pero po, uh, major and special education, but now po is naging separate siya, naging Bachelor of Special Needs Education Generalist. So, pag sinabi pong generalist, um, wala po kami mini-major na disability or disorder. So, in our field po, um, napag-aaralan namin lahat. And after po, pag-graduate, um, possibly, pwede po kami mag-handle um, weather, um, visual impairment, ID. So, wala po kami um, specific. Po, general lang talaga siya. Ako, so, saludo kami sa inyo, Flory and Nicole. We really need more special education specialists in the country. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. So, we would love to hear more about our contestants. Pero kailangan na natin balikan ang ating competition at ang round 2. Susunod na po yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! ating karunungan check as we're going to the second round. Let's have a recap. Bumulusok po si Mark with 50 points. Followed by Nicole with 20 points. Raymart with 10 and Flory with some catching up to do. Diba? So let's continue getting to know our contestants. Ito pong si Mark. Alam po natin, dineklara po niya na hate niya ang milk tea. Okay, bakit nga ba? Hindi ko po nag-regrets yung bitterness at sweetness combination ng milk tea. So, yun po. Parang hindi ko trip yung bitter-sweet combo nila. Baka 25% lang yung sugar niya. So, yung bitterness ng tea. Mm. Ayan. So, 
Dapat okay. lagyan mo ng ano, mga 100% ang request mo. Parating na yung <laughs> Okay. Ngayon naman, si Raymart naman, no, binanggit niya sa bio niya na anim yung pusa niya sa bahay. On campus ka ba nakatira? Opo. Doon po kami nakatira sa ilang-ilang residence hall. Tapos, marami naman pong pusa doon. So, okay Pero yung anim na yun, parang... Ikaw yung tinuturing nilang ano, amo? Ay, sa, sa amin po, sa family. Ah, sa buong family? Okay, okay. So it's a cat family. Cat family. A cat-loving family. Pero dito sa campus, may, may group din eh, na talagang nag-aalaga ng mga pusa. Oo. Ang masasabi ko lang, iuwi nyo na. I-adapt nyo na, iuwi nyo. Yes. Sa bahay nyo na alagaan. Yes. And now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize and think carefully each time because correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. Robert Pattinson played the role of Bruce Wayne in what 2022 superhero film that earned more than $700 million in the box office worldwide? Raymart. Batman. Batman is correct. Hey, check. Renaissance is the name of the movie in the tour of which famous female singer? Grabe kayo sa Queen. The correct answer is Beyonce. Alam niyo ba yan? It's Beyonce. Okay. Question number three. In basketball, which guard played 744 consecutive games in the PBA to earn himself the nickname Iron Man. Mark. L.A. Tenorio. L.A. Tenorio is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Which Jewish girl became famous by writing a diary? Okay, Mark. Anne Frank. Let me continue with the question. While hiding from the Nazi forces during World War II, correct answer is Anne Frank. Okay, check. Question number five. In which common ballroom dance do two dancers move in triple time as they turn together in circles? The correct answer is waltz. Question number six. In what 2016 Disney film did Dwayne Johnson voice the demigod character Maui? Raymart. Moana. Moana is correct. Key check. Question number seven. Which Filipino hero was known as the Great Plebeian as well as by the code name May Pagasa? Mark. Apolinario Mabini. Apolinario Mabini is mali. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Andres Bonifacio. Question number eight. What is the first book of the Old Testament whose title may now mean the origin of something? Mark. Genesis. Genesis is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Scottish inventor John Logie Baird and American scientist Philo Farnsworth were instrumental in the development of what system for transmitting visual images and sound that are reproduced on screens. Lori. Television. Television is correct. Paycheck. Question number 10. Which 20th century English writer is the author of the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Raymart. J.R.R. Tolkien. J.R.R. Tolkien is correct. Paycheck. Question number 11. What sports term may mean winning all four major tournaments in tennis or golf? Mark. Grand Slam. Let me continue with the question. Or a home run with bases loaded in baseball? The correct answer is Grand Slam. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. More than 900 million citizens are eligible to vote in what country's general election? which is the largest in the world. Raymart. India. India is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. So let's see how our contestants did. After the second round, we have Raymart with 110 points, Mark with 100, Nicole and Flory tied at 
20 points each. Medyo dikit na yung laban, Medyo no? Medyo dumidikit. Pero Parang siyempre, basketball game. Oo, okay. <laughs> Pero siyempre, hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng Game Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Sa pagpasak ng ultimate pagalingan round, Ray Mark comes in at 110 points, closely followed by Mark with 100 points. Florian and Nicole tied at 20 points each. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Siyempre dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. Question number one will come from Prof. Marian. Go ahead. Simula natin sa madale math. What is the slope of the line that passes through the points with coordinates one zero and zero one? A two, B one, C zero, D negative one, and E negative two. Slope, change in Y over change in X. So the answer is letter D, negative 1. Tama yung hila. Kinabahan lang yung mga taga-college of engineering sa kay Ma'am Marian. Overwhelming ang presence ni Ma'am Marian. Okay. So usapang politika. Anong dynasty ang political sa Mindanao ang sangkot sa pagpaslang ng maraming kasapi ng media noong 2009? A. Ampatuan B. Mangudadato C. Mastura D. Matalam E. Sinsuat Parang kinakabahan yung contestants natin. Alam kong alam nyo ang sagot. Mahigit 30 na mga journalists ang namatay sa masaker na ito na pinungunahan ng political dynasty na ito sa Mindanao. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, ang patuan. Thank you. Madako naman tayo sa pelikulang Pilipino. So in the movie, ang babaeng septic tank, who played the lead role? Mark. Eugene Domingo. Ang babae sa septic tank, directed by Marlon Rivera and written by Chris Martinez, was an independent film that made it in the box office. And the lead role was played by Eugene Domingo K. Check. Next question, Prof. Marian. Human beings are classified in the genus Homo. Which of the following species is considered the oldest? A. Homo erectus. B. Homo habilis. C. Homo luzonensis. D. Homo neanderthalensis. Or E. Homo sapiens. Nicole. E. Homo sapiens. Male. Flory. A. Homo erectus. Male. Mark. D. Homo neanderthalensis. Male. Raymark. D. Po, homo habilis. Known as the handyman, and they lived mga around 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago. They made tools, and they weighed only 70 pounds. Ang, ang gano, gaan. At kasing height ko, 3.5 to 4.5 feet. Correct answer is B, homo habilis. Okay, check. Usapang pangkasaysayan, sino ang kinikilalang utak na katipunan? A. Andres Bonifacio B. Ladislao Diwa C. Emilio Jacinto D. Apolinario Mabini E. Teodoro Plata Nicole C. Emilio Jacinto 
nakapakambag siya ng maraming akda para sa katipunan. Pinakapopular nito ay ang liwanag at dilim. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Emilio Jacinto Kaycek. Prof. Gigi. Usapang kultura popular. Pag-usapan natin muli ang pelikula. Who directed the film? Marosa. Which won Jacqueline Jose the Best Actress Award in Cannes Film Festival? Choices, Joel Amangan, Lav Diaz, Brillante Mendoza, Mike De Leon, Raymond Dredd. In this film, Marosa's children will do anything to bail their parents out of jail after they are busted by corrupt authorities. And this film was directed by multi-awarded director Brillante Mendoza. Thank you. Prof. Maria, next question. Gusto ko yung movie na yon. Yes. Okay, movie pa rin. Pero science. <laughs> Which of the following movies is not based on the biography of scientists or mathematicians? A. Hidden figures. B. A beautiful mind. C. The theory of everything. D. The Imitation Game, or E. Proof? Mark. E. Proof. The first movies mentioned, Hidden Figures, Beautiful Mind, were based on the lives of mathematicians, and Hidden Figures, female African-American mathematicians who work in NASA, Theory of Everything based on the physicist Stephen Hawking, Imitation game based on mathematician, computer scientist Alan Turing. Proof was inspired by John Nash, but it's not really a biography of John Nash. The correct answer is Proof E. K. Check. La, talagang dikit-dikit ang mga points natin ngayon. Right. Prof. Neil. Usapang turismo. Sa anong probinsya ng Pilipinas ginaganap ang sikat na ati-atihan festival? A. Aklan, B. Antique, C. Capis, D. Iloilo, E. Negros Occidental. Glory. B. Antique. Mali. Mark. Iloilo. Mali. Ito. Sa probinsyang nito makikita rin ang Boracay. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Aklan, K-Check. Prof. Gigi. Pag-usapan natin ang ekskultor. Who is the creator of the sculpture, The Thinker? Donatello, Leonardo da Vinci, <laughs> Rodan, Henry Moore, Jacques Lipsis. Raymar. Henry Moore. Mali. Laurie. E. Jack Lipsis. Mali. Mark. A. Donatello. Mali. Ito. B. Leonardo da Vinci. Vinci. <laughs> Mali po. <laughs> He was a French sculptor generally considered to be founder of modern sculpture. He was called in the classic tradition but eventually possessed a unique ability to model a complex, turbulent, and deeply pocketed surface in clay. Ang sagot ay si Rodan. Last set of questions for this round. Since last na, dapat nak nakakaloka ang tanong ko, okay? Logic. Which of the following statements is not equivalent to? If it's a cat, then it's an animal. A. If it's not an animal, then it's not a cat. B. All cats are animals. C. It is a cat only if it's an animal. D. It's an animal if it is a cat. Or E. If it's an animal, then it is a cat. Nicole. It is a cat only if it's an animal. Male. Glory. A. 
If it's an animal, then it's not a cat. Mali din po. Meaning equivalent pa rin sila. Okay. Parang pinaka-obvious. Kasi pag cat siya, animal siya, di ba? The four choices actually mean the same thing. All cats are animals. The correct answer is, if it's an animal, then it's a cat. It's not equivalent to if it's a cat, then it's an animal. Thank you, Prof. Marian. Next question, Prof. Neil. Yeah, usapang pangkasaysayan. Sino ang kinikilalang pangunahing bayani na anak ng lungsod keso? A. Andres Bonifacio B. Emilio Jacinto C. Manuel Luis Quezon D. Melchora Casilag E. Tandang Sora Ang tamang sagot ay idol ko ito. Sa panahon na ginanap ang Himagsikang Pilipino, ang naratibo ay lalaki at bata. Ang tamang sagot, sumali siya sa katipunan na more than 80 years old siya. At nag-offer siya ng kanyang farm. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Tandang Sora. Salamat, Prof. Neil. Last question for this round, Prof. Gigi. Who won the best actor in the 46th 2023 Awards Night of Gawadurian. Soliman Cruz, Daniel Padilla, Piolo Pascual, Alan Dison, John Lloyd Cruz. He won Best Actor Award as Gawadurian in this film, Pag Nawala Ang Alon, siya nanalo ng Best actor. He came out as a policeman at nagsisisi siya sa mga ginawa niya. So, dito nakita yung malubhang krisis ng moralidad sa ating bayan. John Lloyd Cruz. Thank you so much and that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Ray Mark. Our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 125 points. So we'll see Raymart again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. And of course, maraming salamat to Nicole, Flory, and Mark for joining and to be members of our panel of experts, Professor Marianne, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Guian. Join us again tomorrow for another... Check.